<clears throat> the Series 41 swing check valve was originally developed for AVK for international markets. In the 1990s, the three inch through 12 inch sizes were developed for the United States market. And American AVK began selling the Series 41 in the United States. The main function of a swing check valve is to prevent return flow by closing when the flow through a water line stops or reverses. As water flows through the check valve, the disc will lift to allow water to flow through. As the water pressure drops, the disc will close to prevent backflow. And you can see how this operates in the, in the animation at the bottom of the, the slide. Also to help installation easier, with either positioning, the flow arrow cast in the valve body must be pointed in the direction of flow during normal system operation. Additionally, the check valves with levers and springs or levers and weights provide a clear visual indicator to the operator that there's a flow going through the pipeline. The lever is up when it is flowing and down when it is not. As with all AVK products, the AVK Series 41 check valve meets or exceeds the requirements of AWWA C508, which is the AWWA standard for swing check valves for waterwork service. And the interior and exterior coatings meet or exceed AWWA C550. Our check valves are certified to NSF 61 for the health effects of drinking water and NSF 372 for low lead content. So before we get much further, does everyone understand how to tell the right side or left side hand, or excuse me, how to tell a right or left hand valve? If the lever is on the right side, as you were looking downstream or at the flow of the water, it is a right hand valve. If you were looking downstream and it is on the left, then it's a left hand valve. Sometimes we get customers that get confused with this, but all of our lever and weight valves are standard right. I mentioned AWWA C508, which requires the valve to be tested to ensure quality. Firstly, the shell test is at two times the rate of pressure, and the seat test is at rate of pressure, which is at 250 PSI. In order to ensure the longevity and dependability, the ABK Series 41 swing check valve has been proof of design cycle tested to 1 million cycles. The first and most common seating option is the resilient seat, which seats against an epoxy coated ductile iron in the valve body. There is also a resilient seat, which seats against a bronze ring in the valve body. And lastly, and the least common, a bronze ring in the disc, which will seat against a bronze ring in the valve body. There are several actuation options for the Series 41 check valves. There is a no lever, which is also called the swing version or plane version. There is a lever and weight, a lever and spring, and a dual lever and weight, where there is a lever on both sides of the valve. For the lever and weight, or lever and spring valves, the lever can be on the right or left-hand side of the valve. AVK can also provide pre-drilled bosses on each check valve for bypasses and pressure taps. There are five bosses on each valve. There's four in the body. There are two located upstream and two located downstream of the seat and one on the bonnet. The AVK Series 41 has a product range of 3 inch through 12 inch. It is available with flange by flange end connections through the full range of the valve. The standard drilling pattern is the ANSI B16.10 or Class 125 flange. PN10 or PN16 international flanges are available for customers with imported equipment. Let's talk about the materials of the Series 41. First, the body, bonnet, levers, and weights are ductile iron to ASTM A536 standards. The coating is AWWA C550 fusion bonded epoxy. 
the bonnet bolts are 304 stainless steel standard with the 316 stainless steel bolting as an option. So let's talk about the internal materials. The bonnet gasket is EPDM and encompasses the bonnet bolts, <clears throat> protecting the bolt threads from the interior and exterior environments. You can see the bonnet gasket and the way it fits around each individual bolt to help protect it from corrosion. All of the O-rings are NBR. You can also see the shaft and the hinge, which are 316 stainless steel. The shaft bushings are bronze and the internal hardware is stainless steel. The disc is encapsulated with EPDM for drinking water applications. Overall, the ADK Series 41 is more efficient and offers more energy savings in pumping applications than a rubber flap or check valve. This is because of the way our valve is designed to open, as the next slide will show. The Series 41 has a clear waterway design. With the clear waterway design, the disc in the full open position is fully clear of the waterway so that there is no obstruction in the flow path. By comparison, a rubber flapper valve are a full waterway design. With the full waterway design, the disc in the full open position is not clear of the waterway, which increases head loss. The ABK Series 41 is pressure rated to 250 PSI. It also maintains the standard B16.10 lay length from flange to flange and yet obtains the performance desired of a clear waterway valve. The ABK Series 41 achieves this by mounting the shaft and the bonnet as opposed to the body of the valve. It is important to note that check valves come in two lay lengths, the standard B16.10 and a longer clear waterway option defined in, C5, in AWWA C508. AVK's design eliminates the need for the two lay length options and eliminates the sacrifice of performance if the shorter lay length is specified. However, if you were replacing an existing valve in a line that is not to B16.10, you would need a spool piece to make the connection. Water hammer is caused when the flow in a water line suddenly stops. This causes a pressure wave to travel down the pipeline at the speed of sound. This shock wave traveling down the pipeline is the hammering sound that is heard when a check valve suddenly closes. So to prevent water hammer, there are two things that can be done. One, close the valve quickly so the water flow does not have time to reverse. Or two, close the valve slowly so the water flow is gradually shut off. To close the valve quickly, AVK provides levers and adjustable weights or levers and adjustable springs to ensure that the valve will close before the flow reversal can occur. Also, the seating angle is tilted to 15 degrees, which helps the disc close quickly, which helps reduce water hammer and ensures that the disc stays on the seat when there is no differential pressure on either side of the disc. The AVK Series 41 swing check valves can be mounted horizontally or vertically. When mounting horizontally, the full product range of valves can be used. However, when mounting vertically, only the lever and weight or lever and spring valves may be used. Vertical mounting can only be used when the, up, when the flow is upwards. So just to do a quick recap over all this information, the AVK Series 41 is designed with a stainless steel shaft, stainless steel hinge, stainless steel bolts, and unique heavy duty bonnet gasket design. When properly specified for the intended application, the wear and tear on the AVK Series 41 check valves are limited to just a few O-rings. O-ring replacement can be achieved by working on the existing head assembly in the field or by quickly installing a new head assembly and rebuilding the old unit back in the shop. As you can see in this slide or this animation right here, you can see how quickly and easily this can be achieved. Also, just as a safety note, please remember that all maintenance should be performed on a depressurized system to avoid injury. So before we move on, Ann, do we have anybody that had any questions? Nope, nope. we're right. doing good. <clears throat> so let's move forward with the Series 53 ball check valve. 
So worldwide, we have two different versions of the ball check valve. The first was developed by ABK for international markets and is equipped with ISO flanges. The second was developed by Helene Delaley or HDL in the Netherlands. This ball check valve, known as the HDL 5087, is equipped with ANSI flanges. In 2006, ABK acquired HDL and renamed the HDL 5087 to the Series 53. In the United States, we use the Series 53 valve developed by which some of our customers still refer to as the HDL 5087. The main function of a ball check valve is to prevent return flow by closing when the flow and water line stops or reverses. The ball check valve is used primarily for industrial and municipal applications and the ideal solution for liquids containing high solid contents. There are no AWWA standards that exist for the AVK Series 53. AWWA C508 does not apply to the ball check valve and because these valves are primarily used for wastewater and raw water, they are not certified to NSF 61 or NSF 372. However, the coatings do meet AWWA C550. Each valve is pressure tested at production. We shell test at one and a half times the rate of pressure and we seat test at the rate of pressure, which is 150 PSI. A key feature of our ball valve is that it is incredibly easy to repair. The ball is the only moving part. This means there's no need for actuation, maintenance, or routine repair. When repairs are needed, the bonnet can be removed, the ball lifted out and replaced with very little downtime. All of this without ever having to remove the valve from the line. But note that all installations and maintenance must be done on depressurized systems to avoid injury. And as you can see in this animation right here, just how easy the removal of the bonnet assembly and how many parts there actually are in the Series 53 ball check valve. When the valve is in operation, the ball rotates. So when it does seat, it's on a different area of the ball, excuse me, on a different area of the ball almost every time. This random seating of the ball helps ensure a long life. The Series 53 has a product range of one and a half inch through 24 inches. NPT end connections are available in one and a half inch through two inch sizes. Flanged end connections are available in two inch through 24 inch sizes. The standard drilling pattern is the ANSI B16.42 or class 150 flange. These valves are also available with ISO flanges and BSP threads for customers with imported equipment. So here's the materials for the Series 53 with flanged end connections. The body and the bonnet are ductile iron. The interior and exterior coating is fusion bonded epoxy with the black primer option. On the one and a half inch through 24 inch check valves, the ball is an aluminum core encapsulated with NBR with polyurethane as an option. The bonnet gasket is NBR and nuts are zinc plated steel with 304 stainless steel and 316 stainless steel as an option. There are two versions of the Series 53 with NPT end connections. You can choose either a ductile iron with a fusion bonded epoxy coating or a stainless steel. In both versions, the ball is a steel core encapsulated with NBR, polyurethane as an option. The bonnet gasket again is NBR and the bonnet bolts washers and bonnet nuts are 304 stainless steel with 316 stainless steel as an option. With a full waterway, the flow area is maintained, but the waterway may change its shape slightly to allow for a small part of the ball to be in the waterway. This also maintains the standard lay length from flange to flange, which means that the same lay length as a series 41, meaning the series 41 and series 53 are interchangeable. If water problem, the AVK Series 41 swing check valve is what we recommend.
The Series 53 can be provided with a ball that either sinks or floats. The sinking ball is designed to be heavier than water, making it fall in place once the flow is stopped. The floating ball is provided as an option so that the check valve can be installed vertically with the flow going down. This is a very unusual installation, which is seldom done, but we understand that this happens, so we make it available. The AVK Series 53 ball check valve can be mounted horizontally or vertically. The preferred installation for best performance is the vertical installation with the flow going up. When mounting vertically with the flow going down, a floating ball must be used. When mounting horizontally, there is a minimum static back pressure requirement of 10 feet for the effective operation. The recommended flow velocity is around five feet a second, and the ball should move freely throughout the valve body. Whether ver mounted vertically or horizontally, the flow arrow cast in the valve body must be pointed in the direction of flow during normal system operations. We want to let you know that all of our AVK products are manufactured in our Minden, Nevada to ISO 9001 and ISO 14001 standards. And I want to let you know that ISO 9001 ensures that we follow quality improvement processes to ensure a high level of quality from the minute we take your order all the way to the delivery of our products. And ISO 14001 is the standard related to environmental management that exists to help organizations minimize how their operations negatively affect their environment. And lastly, the AVK Series 41 and AVK Series 53 both come with a one-year warranty. So please visit AmericanAVK.com. You can download data sheets, brochures, main maintenance and installation videos, manuals, contact information for territory managers. You can also look into getting information on being AVK certified.